Hey guys, Journal here, and today let's. Uh, I'm gonna cover something that was just posted in a new developer update talking about the PTR. For you guys who don't know, there's been a lot of uh, discussions and complicated shit about the PTR, about how useful it is, and how there's really not a lot of players using it. Uh, I suppose the discussion started from the fact that, you know, when D.Va and Roadhog, they got nerfed and, and there was some buffs and some changes to the to the PTR. People started, of course, complaining on the forum. And Kaplan, uh, I think it was if Kaplan, came in on one of those threads and said essentially that there wasn't really a lot of players on the PTR anyway, so he didn't really understand why people were hitting on it. Like, there was n not a lot of players playing on the PTR. A and that is really true. And then, of course, this sparks more conversation, like, why isn't there a lot of players on the PTR? And it started a lot with, you know, there's no reward system for it, there's no reason to play on the PTR except give feedback to Blizzard. And, of course, testing out a couple of, like, PTR stuff. So, for example, you don't gain any loot boxes. If you even level up, if you get XP on that account, it won't transfer to, your like, the live servers. You won't get any form of reward. You don't even have all your skins there because it's normally, like, reset back like quite a lot like for some I think uh, my main account now on the live server is around level 300 so I have like a lot of items a lot of skins there and back on the PTR it's around a hundred and something and of course that sparks a lot of controversy so now they actually came up with an entire developer of the explaining their entire philosophy of the PTR and what they actually say is that the PTR isn't just feedback it's it's really not the, it isn't even the primary thing its primary thing is to make sure that the game is stable make sure that when they release a patch that it just like entirely crashes the game or or, or bring in like a shit ton of bugs that's like the biggest thing and of course it really helps uh, it really helps them that we play on it to give the feedback but it isn't really the primary thing and they are really looking into this like rewarding players for being on the PTR like free loot bags or EXP on their a main account or transferring to the live server but they don't want to waste too much time on it because they already feel that they have a lot on their plate they have a lot of like heroes buffs and and patches they don't want to like waste time and resources on like giving a couple of extra loot boxes because you play on the ptr he also went on to later explain like a little bit of, of what day they, they look at at the different heroes of, of course he brought out sombra and he talked about like how they still feel that sombra is a a, a strong hero and that he feels the player had looked at her wrong. She isn't like an assassin with high damage. She isn't Tracer or Kenji because we already have those. They look at her as an interrupter uh, and she could almost be in the, in the support group he says. So her job is to just hack really. That's like her main priority to hack shit. They also talk a little bit about D.Va and they just thought really that the reason they're nerfing D.Va is that she was doing too much. They like her place, they like the fact that she flies in, she can interrupt and she can fly out, she has no reload, she can keep constant pressure which is very special for her. But she was just like too strong at everything and I can totally agree on that. When I see like scrims, uh, when I go into scrims again, other teams like uh, Grandmaster Master teams, my team, D.Va is really strong, it's stupidly how old she can be sometimes. Uh, and, the, and the only thing they really want to do to Ana, because a lot of people are like, oh, Ana's gonna be your sister, they're really gonna nerf to the ground. They don't want that. They just want Ana's healing to be a little bit reduced, because it is ridiculously high. I think everyone can agree on that. And and, and in the end, uh, he noted something that I found was actually really funny and really true. That I, haven't actually, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> a lot of you have probably already thought about it. But he said that people that are happy about the PTR rock really goes on the forums compared to unhappy people, right? If you're like, oh, they're doing some great job blizzard yeah i'm not gonna write a form be like good job i like this yeah keep it up guys but if you're really unhappy like this is fucking bullshit then you're going on the other forms be like blizzard what the fuck are you even doing with this game this is some stupid ass shit what are you smoking over there like right and, and i felt that was actually a really good thing besides that guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press a like if you dislike it dislike if you want to keep updated for more content about overwatch and maybe some other games i'm really focusing a lot of overwatch right now because it's what i'm stressing about because i'm going into the tournament very soon so i'm a lot of my head is like spinning around overwatch right now so uh, it will be overwatch mostly right now but uh, i'll get into some more games soon or later then subscribe if you want that put your opinion down in the comment what you guys think about it all of this and as always guys i'm journal and keep the enemy in your crosshair